the people ask you about alcohol, wine, strong drink, one may say of gambling. Evidently, this is on the mind of the people. So they're asking him, yes, أَلُونَكَ عَلَى الْخَمْرُ وَمَيْسِرْ قُلْ فِيهِمَا إِثْمٌ كَبِيرٌ وَمَنَافِئُ لِلنَّاسِ I want you to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in His greatness and His wisdom. Say, O Muhammad, they're asking you the question, they're asking you about khamr and maysir, they're asking you about strong drinks. Say, قُلْ فِيهِمَا إِثْمٌ كَبِيرٌ Say, in these two things is a big sin. Something that is harmful. And some benefit, some profit for man. Why Allah say it that way? He's letting you know and I know, all of us know that even though khamra is a sin and it hurts you, there's some good in it, there's some benefit in it for mankind. But the sin is worse than the benefit. The sin is worse than the benefit. Yes, there's benefit in it, yes. But the sin and the harm is worse than the profit. If you are like the average American, you have in your house right now at least one television set. At least. Some of you have three, some have four, some have five, and I'll be less, some have more than that television. Today I want to talk about television. Allahumma inni a'udhika min ilmin la yanfa'u. Allah, oh Allah, I seek refuge with you from knowledge that doesn't benefit. My theme today, turn off the TV. Turn it off. Turn it off. The topic today, turn off the TV. Do what? Turn off the TV. Do what? Turn off the TV. Television. Television. Turn it off. Turn off the TV. Turn it off. Turn off the TV. Turn off the TV. How many ways do you want me to say it? Turn it off. Turn off the TV. Turn off the damn TV. Turn it off. Why? There is a man named Jerry Mander. He wrote a book. He's not a Muslim. And he wrote four arguments for the elimination of TV. Very compelling book. Very compelling. Jerry Mander. Four arguments for the elimination of TV. Let me first say this. Imam Siraj, are you saying that television is haram? No. I'm saying, Fiha ismun kabirun. In it, is great sin. Woman and some benefit. But I believe this is not Quran or Hadith. My opinion. Separate my opinion from Quran and Sunnah. I believe the harm of T V is worse than the benefit. In my opinion. Turn off the T V. And today I'm going to try to show you in a very brief way. Why? I was um, on my way to in, uh, India, and I went to JFK Airport, got Air India, and flew from New York to London, eight and a half hour flight. I had a two hour layover in England, and took a flight from England to India seven and a half hours. I was on that plane and I looked at the people around me. They were bored to death. Some of them just slept the whole trip. 
Others just look around, dull. And most of them look at the big screen. They have like a screen, like a movie or TV or something like this. They watch that. And I look, uh, the person next to me, he was so bored. It seems to me every five minutes he got a little alcohol. And he just drank and drank and drank. And I'm looking at him, he's drinking and drinking. And I'm drinking and drinking all this alcohol. Bored to death. Bored. What was I doing? SubhanAllah. I had about 15 books out. And boy, I was in heaven. I was reading, boy, I, oh, I got a chance to catch up on my reading. I had the Quran open here, had some hadith open, had some books I was reading. And boy, I was smiling from the moment I got on the plane to the moment I landed in England. And when I got to England, I still, for two hours, still reading. And I got back on the plane to go to India, and I'm still reading. And I'm a happy man. I was spiritually high. Because the time that Allah gave me, rather than wasting it, I put it to use. Allahumma inni a'udhulika min ilman la yansa'u. Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from knowledge that doesn't benefit. Brothers and sisters, all knowledge is not good. American people, because of the TV, 90 Seven percent of the American people have television sets. Ninety-seven percent. That Allah, the Almighty, has made things for us to haram. You must believe that everything that Allah has made prohibited, He made it prohibited because it's no good for you. You must believe that. And everything that is made halal and permissible is good for you. Everything that Allah has made halal is good for you and can't be bad. Unless you misuse and abuse what he gave you. And everything, no exception, everything that Allah has kept away from you, has made prohibited for you, is no good for you. You must believe that. This puts things in perspective, and then when Allah makes something prohibited from you and not allow His servant to touch it, to go near it, then you understand that this prohibition is for your good. My advice, turn it off. But if you must, must watch it. I'm trying to do as I see my Lord do. Help you to gradually Get out of it because, wallahi, some of you, I think, are addicted to the TV. Yeah, it's an addiction. Uh, 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 I can turn it off any time I get ready. I don't think so. Put a challenge to yourself. Turn it off for one week. Don't turn on TV for one week. See if you can. Say what? I can turn it off. I turn it off for one week. I can turn it on. And you find out, when you turn it off, let me tell you what's going to happen. The first day, you're going to have withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> yeah, that's what addiction does. You get psychologically and physiologically, you get attached to it. Yeah, you do. You don't think so. Let me tell you what's going to happen. You're going to say, I am so bored. I'm bored. What to do? Because you used to watching all those hours of TV, you lost your creativity.